think it was two years so ago. Then a they lot put, of focus on like, on hey, Scorpio, we're, we're it making do the same this thing, the 4K, same center, FPS, right? mm-hmm. and, they've and that was just a ported game. It wasn't optimized, like and, and it only used and sixty to seventy percent. Everything that you could kind of get, but you know do is there a component this year of, of that like what would that be mm-hmm. uh, and maybe that's something new coming to xbox live or maybe that's a feature i think i just streamed a bit of biscuit stream hang on i'm sorry things out have mixer now which is sort of their own streaming service that's built into everything they're doing so i would expect that we will also have a component of the microsoft press conference that will sort of like talk about that perspective mm-hmm. of how the Xbox and Microsoft positions their sort of entertainment consoles. I would love, I would love them to come right out and just say like, nah, not doing VR, nothing like that. <laughs> we won't have our, we won't have. I mean, they have shown augmented reality now what two years in a row, or yeah, did they? Yeah, the Hololens. Yeah, table. yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, that's fine, but the augmented reality is much, much different than virtual reality. It, totally, like, augmented it's, reality. Yeah, if they delve deep into that. That could be revolutionary. Just setting right. up, please and no one else enjoy is doing these big men things there and the ladies. Way that they are, right. right. And well, and the other thing is, antics, right? okay, okay, I've okay, played okay. quite a bit of VR, and I, you can only play it for so long. And I'll be honest with you, like right. even if it's a really good game, really well done, you can only keep that VR headset on for so long. Long due to sweating, motion sickness, like all kinds of stuff. The weight, like the weight, oh, yeah. yeah. Even if it's even if it's super light, it still is, you know, a helmet on your head for you know hours at a time. Mm-hmm. If they did like augmented reality glasses that were, because you're actually seeing part of reality along with you know the augmentation, like the whatever they put in on the glasses in front of you, I think that could be completely revolutionary. Mm-hmm. In that it would take away some of those things, like mm-hmm. the weight. Just if they're just goggles. Captions on or off? Up now, while I hate to sweating. Up I'll be here in like right, a minute. Or like right. Motion sickness, like that kind of stuff. If they really made something awesome for that, that might be the might be the thing. There's also a, an element of like disconnectedness when you're in a VR world, which is kind of cool. But also in this kind of multi-connected world, especially Microsoft having this giant suite of things that they allow us to do, having an augmented reality where may, like maybe I'm sitting on my couch and I'm playing a game and I'm only looking at the game the way I would look at my TV. But if in augmented reality I have my Twitter feed here, I'm watching my friend stream here, I have other things going on. You know, that could be a really cool world. Mm. And when I say you know no one else is doing this, I mean in this in the context of this console war. True. Where right, people, you know, right. like yeah. yeah, because even Apple at their WWDC this past week showed off sort of their how they're approaching mm-hmm. augmented reality. They didn't really like it's all kind of smoke and mirrors in that it's demos, right? Like right. at least Microsoft is like, yo, check this out. We got Minecraft and augmented reality. Uh, I think it was the folks from gosh, I don't even remember what company it was from, but they like showed this giant battle scene taking place in an augmented, but it was Right, it was just that. It just happened, mm-hmm. and that was it. The, no one was interacting. or mm-hmm. So it, it's really interesting to see that people are going that way, but the, the practical applications, I think, like, that's where everyone's a little stuck on. It's like, how do we how do, we do this? I mean, outside of Minecraft, which looked like a great, great <laughs> application for it, I'm not sure, you know, mm-hmm. what that is. And maybe we'll, you know, maybe we'll find out more. So we are hopefully just a few minutes away from the Microsoft press conference. They don't have Microsoft a Microsoft press conference. So, we're here. Woo! Uh, we, you know, Woo! we go to them. Woo! And they uh, actually the go live. Uh, don't forget, we've also got the creeper show after Hello. everything. And Hello. the Bethesda tonight is going to be a little oh, bit oh, later than so normal. And uh, there's a lot of really interesting games, games that well, appear to be coming out of the <laughs> We're playing camp. the E3 pizza uh, game. We won't talk about those yet, but... Hello, everybody. I turned the closed captions off because fuck the uh, death. Uh, <laughs> Most people want to oh, I like the person who's got uh, a little drippy little. But then we'll have a bunch of uh, other emote. stuff. Emote. Drippy emote. I'm going to oh, turn this so top cute. down for the time being. Are you just, are you just ready, Zeke? I'm ready. I'm ready. Like, I'm, I'm with I like the, the person who called him Poundland Tim Schafer and Poundland Apple V. I like her leggings. Yeah, I like them as well. Why don't we look at our rigged Microsoft poll? And Poundland I, Justine. So what are you expecting to see for today? Well, I, you know what? I don't know. There we go. Are you most excited for Microsoft? Are you most excited for Bethesda? Ubisoft, Sony? I know there's a couple of others. No one's excited for Microsoft. They've just made that up. They've only made that up about Microsoft because we're about to have the Microsoft problem. Mm -hmm. Weigh the excitement, but last year Sony. I'm expecting to see a shit ton of Scorpio. Yep. Because this is the Scorpio Africanus reveal low-key stream. Okay. 
Thank Watch you for Sony. subscribing with Twitch Plus, the Super Potato 2000. Game. Twitch Plus. Exclusive. Twitch Plus. Yeah. It's like yeah. Twitch Prime, but plusier. Yeah. 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 Look, look at the four percent for Ubisoft. That's because you got rid of Aisha Tyler. Anyway, I'm excited. Excited for a thing. Oh, someone's with a thing. Hey, Dan Breaker. Thanks for being awesome. Make my day so much brighter. You're welcome. Gas Grison. Glass. Glass Grison. Glass Grison. Just edit the one that you think's best. Dad is not naked today either, unfortunately. No. Now, what are, what are we what are we expecting? What are you expecting? Because you've written loads of stuff down. I have. It's basically about Scorpio. I think Crackdown's going to be a Scorpio exclusive. What about Forza Motorsport 7? I'll give a fuck. <laughs> What? <laughs> I don't give a fuck. <laughs> that's, uh, that's got a possible fall 2017 release. Didn't Bethesda last year, didn't they, were like the Sea of Thieves. That oh, God, with the YouTubers again. Oh, oh no. How many, okay, this is the one thing I want people to guess. How many YouTubers you've never heard of do you think you're going to see during the stream? <laughs> the options are 0 to 50, 50 to 100, and 100 plus. Oh, I'm going to go to 0 to 50. Okay. Okay. <laughs> that's a, that's a, a great, you know. We've got five, seven. 12, um, 15, 11, yeah, 7, too many. Too many is the correct answer. <laughs> oh, for people who have uh, pointed out to me on Twitch, uh, if you don't have Payday 2, but you have Steam, if you if they're doing a free weekend, but if you install it, you keep it forever. So if you don't have Payday 2, go on Steam and install it, and you will get it for your entire account forever. And, uh, let you so there's a thing. Charity, it's uh, they've got the five million copies they're giving away, uh, and they haven't got rid of them all yet. Zach zero nine seven eight. I hope that's not your pin number. Has given five hundred twiddlies. Thank you. Uh, games and bits and all sorts of other things. Oh, that is your thing, man. Thank you. Good at it. Yeah, there's also going to be Microsoft Idea Xbox Initiative. Suddenly, people buy the game. digital ticket for you. Yay! And, uh, Ones that will never that. play. So use that E3 DT. Do you, uh, Dan, do you, what do you think this, the Scorpio will start yeah, or what the price will be? If it's, I think between five to six hundred dollars. High? It's quite possibly higher. Oh, do you have, do you have figures that people have thought it might be? No, everyone's just concerned that it's, got, it it's like inevitably going to be more than the PS4 Pro. It's going to be more than the PS4 Pro. It's going to put people off. Yeah. 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 We They've cut have, the price of the Xbox One S, Microsoft have, yesterday. They cut $50 of it. It's now $200, and by interviews, I mean which is uh, Slayer5049, another pin number. Like Dan, you're my favorite YouTuber for years, and I've been watching you since the first YouTube video. I love you, and Rebecca. Thank you. Who's oh. obviously very excited about yeah, um, Scorpio is $200, which for a 4K Blu-ray player, I'm actually invested in. All right, Anna, I'm sorry, but looks like we are starting. We're going on over to the... Starting? What? On time? Oh, by the way, yeah, the stream. I've actually made the stream now work at, uh, it, well, 30 FPS, but it's not running at 15. There's an issue with Windows Aero that you can't record stuff. So now, boom, working. Hello, everybody. E3, 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 E3. This is like the history of Microsoft. There's Scalebound, a game they cancelled. <laughs> was that Scalebound? I wasn't particularly looking. This entire conference is not aimed at me. No, it's not aimed at, it's aimed at frat boys. Uh, wow, 4K, no good shit. Oh, uh, Glass Grizzly again! Hey Dan, will you be getting the Lego Space Saturn 5? I'm g yes! It's just that they're actually, they've announced today that they're going to be producing that into 2018. Oh! Because it's such a popular set. That's cool. Yep. Alright, you ready for this? Ready for this? Shoot, here we go. Microsoft hype. I mean, they don't make games that I care about, but hype! Bingo cards! They don't make anything that you care about. Well, they're going to start with Scorpio, and I like seeing new hardware. Are you going to buy it? You know what? Maybe. <gasps> uh. If they have good exclusives for it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I know that's the bugger, <laughs> isn't it? Oh shit! Sorry. I'll put the stream up a bit for you. We'll try it here. We'll have to ferry it as we go. Oh look! Oh, this is a, one of them their computer chips that I've heard so much about. Oh, get in there! Oh, fill my ports. Okay? I just woke up. I'm feeling good for this one. Yeah, it's actually set in Tron. Whoa, here we go. Dick sound for Scorpio. Plunge is back. Plunge! 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 Plunge. Plunge. You're calling him Plunge. Plunge. Le Plunge. Whoa, look at this. Look, look at all the pixels. Oh, it gives a war. Oh, it gives a fuck. 
Lord of the Rings. I don't think we're going to care about anything. Oh, Lord yes. of the Rings game. Oh, maybe Shadow of the Mordor too. That's the thing they announced. Did they announced that yet? Shadow of the Mordor was not what it was called. So. <laughs> Fall out! Halo. Come on, man. Where? Beep. Beep. I like um, I can't. <laughs> Lady in dust. Hulk controller. Oh, look at her. Look at her. Oh my god, it's Clara. No! Oh, it's not Clara. <laughs> It's just called Shadow of War, you twink. That's a weird name. <laughs> Alright, Shadow of War, you twink. By the way, 4K really doesn't look very good in console gaming, ever. I don't like 4K. I like 60 FPS, that's what I should be aiming for. If they say 60 FPS, I'm just gonna jizz gently. <gasps> Crackdown! No way! Maybe that game isn't vaporware! Ooh, there you go, ladies and gentlemen, our first look. Or Scorpio, I don't actually know. Which design like the name, it's Oh my god, Xbox 2. Oh god, Laura K. Dale said today they're going to call it the Nintendo. <laughs> <laughs> Yay, it's a box! Dan, did you ever finish the Witcher 3? <laughs> no, that game goes on forever. Let's we'll have a breakfast today. Oh, uh, I ate a slice of pizza just then. I could do, I want to stream some Witcher 3. That's the Xbox One S. Oh, okay, never mind then. I thought it was in white. I don't fucking know what these consoles look like. Uh, okay. I think it's hard to know what that one looks Good like. Good afternoon. To yeah. To those boo, of you with boo, us boo, here boo. in boo. person watching on this incredible 4K screen. That's really big. <laughs> That's a shit 4K screen. You want that way more than 4K. Online, and to those of you watching and interacting on Mixer, I think I'll tell you on behalf of the everyone Mixer? on Team Xbox, welcome to E3 2017. Give me some hype. Ah. We need an air horn cheer thing, like an emote. When the renegade group of gamers, creators, and engineers came together <laughs> to form the original group. Xbox team dun, 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 and deliver dun, dun, the first the Xbox play. console, we were driven by three principles. Uh, thanks to the people subscribing to Empower Prime. developers, oh, your name's going past. delight Stop gamers, you. and deliver true hardware <laughs> and technical <laughs> innovation. Uh -huh. The original Xbox hey, Rebecca, team lived by the contract. mantra. Any new IP that's There's interesting. No <laughs> I have than X. No, I, there's nothing I want from Xbox. And today, on we are pre oh, proud oh to God. welcome They're the newest proud. member of the Xbox family. Xbox X! Fittingly named Xbox One X. Whoa! Xbox One X! I hate it so much. That's it, no, you know what? That's, it's just calling it X is fine. I, console it. Ever I made. thought it was going to get a really dumb Set name. New quality X, standard Xbox for gamers X. Yeah, Xbox X would have been much cooler. It's Starting on November 7th. Xbox yeah. One That's X ridiculous. joins the Xbox One Ooh. and the Xbox One S oh when it God, launches Xbox worldwide. X Xbox, Xbox One X. X. Xbox, right, see, awesome. say all three of them as fast as you can. Xbox One, Xbox One X. Ah, it's hard! Go I'd for it. I'd like to introduce <laughs> one of our leaders Xbox, in the Xbox, Xbox One, Xbox One S, Xbox One X. Responsible for making the Xbox One experience great for it's gamers and developers. Please welcome my friend, Kareem Chowdhury, to tell you more. Did he call him Cream Chowdery? Because that just sounds like two different types of liquid. <laughs> oh my god, it is. Yeah! Oh, that guy's sneaking out. He's like, oh, I don't care about this. He looks really tall as well. Thanks, Phil. Did they just hire tall It's people? an honor to be here at oh E3 my god, it, and represent it's called the XOXO. three years of engineering the team oh has done god. to bring Xbox One X. <laughs> From the beginning, yeah. our Who focus the fuck on game creators, <laughs> and you, the gamer, gave us three big goals we needed to hit. Release new IPs. Power, no. Compatibility. No. And craftsmanship. I hate their names for all Let's talk ones. power. Which Xbox X would have been so much cooler. Six teraflop G. Teraflops? At My God. Gigabytes. Twelve gigabytes of GDDR5 nice. memory. <laughs> and three gigabytes per second of memory bandwidth. It's just like it's, it just looks like someone's bought an Xbox One and giving you a kiss afterwards. <laughs> These are impressive numbers. They're not. They're, they're not numbers that exist. Other How many parents are going to buy it for dimension. their kids? And they'll be like, I got an Xbox One, kiss. And then the kids will be like, oh <laughs> shit, yeah. <laughs> can Guarantee that I have it. 4K <laughs> resolution, I look to 4K it textures, later. and 4K assets in your living room. Oh, your 4K assets. <laughs> so Xbox One, 4K. 4K is so and shit. when we say true 4K, we mean 8 million pixels, high dynamic range, wow. wide color gamut. 
Wow. Premium sound. Ooh, I really like need Dolby a wide Atmos color gamut to enjoy and games. 4K UHD Blu ray playback. Hooray! <laughs> Fuck you, PS4 Pro, you dumb cunt. For not... They got that on the Xbox One Next, S. Compatibility. We knew compatibility was critically important for no, Xbox I... One X. And your reaction to 360 backward compatibility has energized the team. Now they need even to release more. a game to make this So, right from the start. <laughs> All of your Xbox One accessories and games will work with Xbox One X. Season donated 100 relays and says, I'm coming for Rebecca. That's all. But oh, for the team and me, so Xbox that wasn't One good stuff works with Xbox We One wanted X. more. Yeah, yeah, yeah. They know the game stuff. library wow. you have today will look and play even better on Xbox One X so with enhanced so visual fidelity, mm -hmm. an isotropic filtering, and Ooh. faster load times. Whoa. But are there any games? There? Even if you Maybe. haven't made the jump to a 4K TV yet, we designed this product for you as well. Since Xbox One X enables a, a technique TV. called super sampling, the new 4K games you see on TV <laughs> will better on your 1080p it's TV It's really bad. Than anything you've seen before. I get, like anything we've seen in 4K is just, I mean like Netflix 4K and stream finally, is low and near the clock with just the bloody 1080p Blu-ray. We meticulously mm. paid attention to every detail of design as we crafted our most technically advanced console ever. It starts with the Scorpio engine. We use 16 nanometer technology to build 16 a nanometer technology. He's just making shit up. With seven what about the flim flams and the whistle warps? And a 384 bit wide oh, memory bus. Picture. This is the fastest, oh. most advanced processor Snapchat. to ever power a console. Oh, Our premium design means that every millimeter and every component within the console has been architected for maximum power. Is architected a word? Our aspirations were so oh, high, architected. an industry standard approach just wasn't Something else is plumbers compatible. The I don't Scorpio think it's plumbers compatible. The Scorpio engine is so intense the person who asked, that I for the first time ever on a console, we're using a liquid-cooled vapor chamber <gasps> liquid normally cooled reserved vapor for servers and high-end PC cards. Whoa, just like what I have three of. An engineer on the Xbox so hardware cute. team <laughs> invented <laughs> a new power management <laughs> system <laughs> so <laughs> innovative that so named it after him. The Hovis method uniquely optimizes every single yeah, Xbox how One X day? at the system and how component level to deliver My consistent has. performance efficiently I've been and sleepy. elegantly. So I can now, stay up for this it's guy. It's easy to think all this technology and capability will mean a bigger console. But again, no, we want you, You're going to charge a premium for it. Not so only it have we built I just want to know if it can do 60 FPS, which I know it can't, and then Xbox I want to laugh, One and then X we can talk about something else. I'm going to eat a bit of pizza ever. now. Ooh, that's not a big thing. The original Xbox was a fucking good liar. This is that's the system you asked us to build, mm -hmm. and it has been a great one. honor to design and build <laughs> it for you. I couldn't be more proud of our team, and I hope you love it as much as we do. Now. Let's just see. Went, oh, monster. I'm aroused and hurt. Exclusive world premiere. Yeah, it's two windows, Dan. <laughs> Unbarted. Love you guys so much. Have my money. Okay, thank you, Twiddly Things. Wait, Twiddly Things is giving us some Twiddlies. Well, let this let me see Sam in 4K. I like to point out I'm streaming this at 720p, so. <laughs> <laughs> That's gonna be a 1080, so oh well. I was very excited for this, and then I saw the car. I got the reboot stick. What's that name? Where's my girl, Jim? Ruth Emily Jim. Oh, hello, Ruth Emily. That's a nice name. We love you guys too. It's people are guessing is this sexy day as X. I've got a racing game for so long. I thought we're done, we're, we don't care about the next one, it's like a demo. Right? Oh, 
Please welcome from the Forza Racing the franchise, box, so. Dan Greenewald. <laughs> I just, I, I don't know. I, I don't know. Is that the man? He, he just stroked himself, going, "I like leather suits." Look In the automotive searching. world, supercars are debuted at international auto shows: Frankfurt, Paris, Detroit. But through your passion Frankfurt. for racing on Xbox and That's PC, sausage, Forza has become the premier partner to the automotive industry. So today, for the first time in history, that is a good point. A Ninety-eight supercar Lizard. is making its world he said, debut. He said, "Is there any um, at E3? Is there anyone who's getting hyped for the seventh iteration of a game?" That's a good point. Oh, look! They've got a car. Bring it from the ceiling. Bring it from the ceiling. This oh. year, Baron we announced Buchanan. a six-year partnership with like Porsche so I I to bring you amazing you. experiences, you. both in game and in person. Porsche oh. shares oh. our vision Woo. for the future Thank of racing and esports. I'll be the one signing and drawing the picture. This car has never been seen outside oh, of the guarded walls of Porsche. Uh -huh. That honor belongs to you exclusively. Ladies and gentlemen, may I present the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. you will literally GT2 never RS. be able to buy. Whoa, it's a, it looks exactly the same as every other Porsche. Richard Hammond died for this. <laughs> Last time they looked This is not only swimming. the most aggressive expression of Porsche's legendary design. It features you, Dan, the most awesome powerful road-going 911 engine macho taco ever made. <laughs> like the Xbox <laughs> One X, it's a monster. He's so zesty. And with over 4.8 million <laughs> active players across Xbox and Windows 10, that's the pre-order DLC, by the way. Porsche is one of the largest way. racing communities oh, on the planet. You made this historic moment possible. Through your passion for <laughs> racing, <laughs> the digital and the real worlds are merging in an car? unprecedented way. The people so with now, t-shirts at the front saying, I witnessed the, the most Porsche powerful console ever. GT2 RS I hate them all. Forza Motorsport 7 I hate running them all. on Xbox One X. I'm joined on stage by two presenters for our Forza Racing Championship. We have Captain Tall Lady. Sports She's actually not allowed within 50 feet of kids, and that's the only way they can do this. professional race car driver and Porsche driving coach. I'll be pushing the GT2 RS to its uh, limits on the Sunday streets of Dubai. Oh, I thought that was that. Oh, that was a good day, I think. Professional racer and stud driver. I will be fighting to survive dynamic weather in the Nürburgring in this Nissan GTR race car. I don't think we professional racers Shannon can actually drive in her cars in Dubai. driver probably. on Dubai. Using the power of Xbox One X, Forza Motorsport 7 runs at a native 4K <laughs> and a rock solid 60 frames per second. 60 frames per second! We have the additional Hashtag power the to deliver future. shocking <laughs> levels of detail. Using super high resolution assets, we've now. recreated the, the intense feel of one of the greatest driving roads in the world, the Hafeet Mountain Pass. Real notorious. Microsoft XX, what do people want to see more of its E3 this year? How about a fucking car? How about fucking Porsche? Like, what but in Forza Motorsport 7, we've reimagined the entire oh, racing experience on no. all devices. Uh -huh. Racing is more immersive and dynamic. Ominous skies roll we in. Like, here it is, the car that Richard Hammond was driving a week ago. It's a child right now. <laughs> we've made racing more epic and grand. Race we've through living environments, epic. featuring spectacular vistas and massive <laughs> scale. The awesome clips, says. Oh my god, X Bones! X Bones! And now the X Bone Kiss. Well, X Bone Kiss sounds really wrong. Don't Google that. It's Xbox more thrilling VR and competitive. You're gonna be Feel the intensity grease up your tires as you battle your rivals. Oh, they said they're not working on it for like at least two And it's years. more beautiful and alive. Dark well, skies open up already doing their and change own as the sun That's emerges cool. from the clouds <laughs> for not a breathtaking finish. Should be. Project Bug Yeah. Like, it looks impressive, but. Racing would is reborn that? in Forza. Whether running on the Xbox. Like this costs $500 on the last consoles, PlayStation, have to step up the game. PCs, you know what? Forza Absolutely. Motorsport 7 is but I the think most the PlayStation 4 Pro is fucking atrocious. Racing and nothing. It's just ever made. nothing. It's the tiniest With more than nothing. 700 I cars, agree, it features the largest collection well, of Lamborghinis, yeah, Ferraris, and Porsches. I only have one because it's my PlayStation. Was Today, we were the mm -hmm. first people to see the, the 2018 Porsche 911 GT2 RS. 
to know is why they didn't bring the car like from the roof like last year. I thought it was like two or three years ago they brought the car from the roof, but yeah, they just went to any roof. So come the most powerful road-going 911 ever made on the Xbox One X, the most powerful console ever made in Forza Motorsport 7. No. Thank you. I haven't watched it. Wait, the girls didn't do the race. I, think, I thought they came out for a live gameplay demo, now they've just fucked off. <laughs> it's the middle of 2017, why is there a new post 2018? I'm gonna play oh, I'm going to point out that my channel trailer that starts, when comes out on Wednesday on 3rd, is called No Keep the Trailer 2018. And when Xbox One X launches, <laughs> we will all people. get to experience Forza Motorsport 7 in true 4K at 60 frames per second. <laughs> Another 911 crowd. Cool. Today, we're going to showcase the world's greatest creators a with a lineup of different types of games fine. We'll for every it. type of gamer. Every type of gamer. It is the largest and I believe only, like, the Japanese most diverse games. lineup of games right. that we've Xbox ever shown on our Xbox <laughs> E3 stage. Games from creators large and small. Tim Schafer. Games that inspire oh my God. and challenge us. You know how we really want to come out. Games that really transport want, um, us to new worlds to and out. offer us new perspectives. It's called Callum. It's just like a little kid. And push the boundary <laughs> of our art form. Scorpio gives me the Today, thing to do Callum. we will feature 42 games here on our stage. Well, you don't want it. It's taking 18 minutes. All right, the fuck Including up. Including 22 games with console exclusivity on Xbox One. Yeah! Capitalism! Woo! Every one of these games Collapse. will play Verify great our on each member Collapse. of the Xbox One family. Says, but of course, okay. I've got they one will play if I best do that, I will not on Xbox <laughs> One. <laughs> drown. All right, now show the indie role with thirty of those games leave. Is a game from a creative team that built their franchise on Xbox. No. In 2010, mistake, 4A Games worked with us to launch a single-player masterpiece that I played on Xbox 360. Now, I'm honored to bring them back with the premiere of their next oh, work, running in <laughs> engine in <laughs> true 4K. Thank you so much, World goodness. World premiere. Oh my god. Thank you. That's a terrible that was joke. That awesome Fletch, by the way. <laughs> oh my god, the Division 2, the multiplication. It's happening, hashtag the multiplication. To live without. Oh, they've started with a quote as well. This is awesome. Oh, I didn't read it. Oh my god, look at that fucking field of view. She immediately not want to play this. Yeah. <laughs> if you were to describe to me, hey, what does a uh, what does a Xbox One game look like? I'd be like, it's like brown and shit. Aesthetically, this is very pleasing for me. But I'm also incredibly claustrophobic as well as in games. Yeah, it's, is it Metro? That's pretty random bullshit. Oh yeah, no, that's not what the game looks like at all. That's pretty random bullshit. Do you remember, do you listen to any podcasts? I just listened to a great one with Joe Foreman, but I can't remember what it's called, but I tweeted it, so there we go. <laughs> um, no, that was good. Oh no. <laughs> <laughs> I can imagine this ends and it just flashes up Boom, Beyond Good and Evil 2. I'd be like, oh man. Yeah, this is pre rendered bullshit. Why would you do why would you go? Oh, we got in the game. It's pre rendered bullshit. Yes, I didn't notice that. It's just full of those control for it. Turn around and get in. What if the whole game is a cutscene? It's this random rift of I think that's where we're heading with gaming these days, aren't we? Everything's a cutscene. Oh shit, no. Ew. Ugh. Ugh. Oh my god, what if this is Fallout 5? No. <laughs> uh, no. Just no.
We've got something for every type of gamer. Here's the standard Xbox game. They are yet to release something on Xbox exclusively that I even remotely care about. They had, um... Well, just a reminder that Xbox don't have 22 exclusives because they release them all on PC. Oh, that's a good point, yeah. yeah. That scroll lock on. I wonder if things is going wrong. Hope you're enjoying your pre-render bullshit. Like, it looks cool, but it's just... It doesn't look, it, it, see, this is the thing that I don't like when they do an E3, where they go, here's just a vertical slice of arcade. It's what the game's going to kind of be like. And to me, the game kind of just looks like, here's lots of jump scares and horror. It's my favourite thing. Have it to be jump out of your trailer and jump out of your trailer and jump out of your trailer and jump out of your trailer. You don't know if that happens once, but that happens consistently. It'll happen consistently again, whatever. Quick run! Reload! Oh no, look down, the rocks fell, Jesus Christ. Trains.com. That must be sounds a bit. Like, yeah, no. <coughs> this is totally legit footage, guys. And the place bounces. Metro, the other last light. Just, 100 diddlies. Just went for a coffee and sandwich because I don't really care about Xbox bags. Did I miss anything good? Okay, surprise. prize. You oh, you, there was a new car. That's literally it we got. Every time someone's left so far. I've been like, have I missed anything? And no one's missed anything yet. In either of these conferences. Yeah. Wow, a Polar Express game. That film changed. <laughs> when they said in engine. Alright, we've had one pre rendered bullshit. We are the first. Assassin's Creed Origin! Not exclusive. The first to see the gods. This is another ancient Egypt. The game features eagles. The tame their beasts. The first the to guard the soul from <laughs> evil. She just had a sweet little thing. We conquered this land. I think that's a post-Brexit simulator. <laughs> empire. Yep. Can you tell Bowser that bringing a car on the stage does not make people buy your game? Boats! Hashtag boats! Saw some boats! But there are whispers on the wind. A brotherhood born in the shadows. It's a fucking drink. I'm gonna eat pizza instead. Wow. I'm quite excited for they a second. They are the first to call themselves the I'm assassins. Like the I'm not a huge... Why are they in the fight thing? I'm not a huge um, Assassin's Creed fan. I really like Black Flag when I'm indifferent. But I think a Egyptian game interests me a lot. There's something wonderful about Egypt as the same as the of you think of Egypt. And they've had a bit of time to actually make it. I hate the people who can't get easy. I'm not really doing anything. I'm a giant snake, so... That game that we pretended we didn't know we existed. From Ubisoft, creative director Jean Gadon. Jean Gadon! Jean Gadon. Very excited Thank to bring you. this game. Exclusive head DLC. Ancient Egypt is the birthplace of modern civilization. Wait, are they still about the apple? And it is also the birthplace <laughs> of the Assassin's oh, okay. Brotherhood. I don't care. I thought that was the whole point. Assassin's Creed Origins is taking you to the perfect Look, setting fuck. for an epic game uh -huh, adventure. Yeah. Oh, Egypt. oh, why did you do that for? 3,000 years uh, of first history up. and mystery Black Flag at wasn't the tip of your finger. Black Flag wasn't really Assassin's Creed game, more like Pirates of Simulator. Assassin's Creed Origins no, great. is also the story of one good. man. And we missed a comment because Bayek. somebody was eating pizza. Oh, no! He's ripping it everywhere. Magi, the protector of his community. An Egyptian sheriff, if you like. Oh, I want to ride a camel. And his struggle 
against the dark forces that corrupt ancient Egypt will lead to the foundation <laughs> of the Assassin's Brotherhood. But recreating ancient Egypt, going back so far in time, pushed us to rethink and expand our gameplay mechanics. Good. We added many RPG elements no. to a huge systemic world, yeah. more detailed and alive than ever before. So today, <laughs> we are very proud to show you what the game looks like on Xbox One X. Xbox One! Running yes! <laughs> the best day ever! Just Being for confirmed. you. <laughs> Bayek is coming back to Siwa, his hometown, to kill the fake oracle. Medunawi. That guy's not going to come back on stage because he's going to die. <laughs> World premiere. It's been edited for time. Shit logo, shit logo. <laughs> but why is this not the Ubisoft conference? It will be. I thought it's in my Ubisoft notes. As a game I don't care about. <laughs> We knew that ancient Egypt was the last setting since about two years ago. You know what I'm saying? We knew the name from Watch Dogs 2. Watch Dogs 2 revealed the name. That was cool though. Hmm. Oh, yeah, we might see that Ubisoft Space game. Ah, Told you Xbox Kiss will be a thing. My home. <laughs> the sacred oasis. You're right, Fletch. You're right. I thought he was dead. Yeah, see, I love the cities in Assassin's Creed. They always do a good job. I agree. It's always nice just to wander through. Oh! I like the bumps. And the people scattering themselves around a little bit. Right, if you've seen gameplay, holy shit. Beautiful looking, that is. Be my eyes, Senu. Eagle mode. Now you presume we have the license of Star Trek. Which series would be best for a generic sandbox game? Deep Space Nine. Just set it in Deep Space Nine. We'll have all of Deep Space Nine to explore and do stuff in. And solve mysteries. What with that dog? So, this is a drone. Oh my god, literally, they're doing the Watchdog 2 drone thing. Medunamon. The next masked one on my list. Like now it is my turn to tip the balance of Anubis. <laughs> it doesn't look like the horse animations have got better after the 50 iterations of this game. Yeah, and the climbing's the exact same animation as well. That means the shots of climbing will be the same. <laughs> Love the greenery though. Did you like the control? Oh my god, it's Horizon Zero Dawn! I always find them a little bit too imprecise. I had so many people telling me that I just had to play it for more than the many, many hours that I played it. Coming to the store on Xbox One. Better be careful yeah, here. You're totally invisible there, mate. Nobody can possibly see you in that no foot grass. So we skipped a year with this series and I'm still not ready for the Assassin's Creed game. So it's a shady killer. Yeah, maybe need a bit more time. We'll be coming out at the end of this year. Might come out in the next year. He'll come out in this year. I like that they basically Ubisoft games all steal from each other, so it's got like what's uh, food drone. Fine bow. Stuff like that. Look for microtransactions, look for microtransactions, people. Oh god, crafting. Yay! Oh fuck me, I fucking hate fucking crafting. Oh, it's my favorite thing. Give me another slice of pizza. Oh, there's only one left. Don't cry. Give me crust. You have that bit. I'll crust. Oh, yeah. Tangle. Ah, it is too dangerous. It will pass for now. <laughs> Which other things this is very oh, squeaky. I'm gonna try and watch more of your streams. You and Rebecca seem really chill to hang out with all your videos. Thank you. We like a low cave stream over here. Guide me, Zenu. Oh my god, I love the eagle drone. I love that he can see with the what the eagle sees. That's dumb and I love it. <laughs> it looks pretty, yeah. It's just, mm. it's That's a gorgeous setting. I feel because I, I didn't like the other games in the series, they just lost me. It was the whole modern day stuff that was so oh, terrible. Oh my god, it was awful. Oh my god. Okay. So are they not doing that at all now? 
No, they seem to kill. They literally killed that guy off, ripped his brain out, and then used his brain for I think Black Flag. Right. Like they literally killed that character off so hard because it's so. You will die, Medunamun. Die, you bastard! I've been sarcastic for Deepface, and I actually sounded amazing about that. And it broke my heart, also, is that the origin of the Eagle View versus Captain Possibly. Captain Zephyr. I said drop the button is needed. Copy on 3D. Finally. Oh my god, the bullet chased him! What the fuck? <laughs> But I'm not yeah, no, I'm totally into it. I love Egypt. At Xbox, I'm going to say it sounds like Croft Origins with Sneasel typing. <laughs> Today, communities of gamers not only play together, they create together and watch together. A whole new genre of games has emerged designed for both the player and the community. And with Mixer, we're innovating new features to make these experiences even better. This one's special. Of Let's all the so. games in this genre, here is one that the world is having as much fun watching as they are playing. And I can tell you that includes many of us at Team Xbox. The creative director of Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a gamer turned developer who designed this game together with a passionate community. Please welcome Player Unknown himself, Brendan Green. Yay! It's something called Mix of Family on Twitch. Oh, thank you. Thanks, Phil. Good afternoon, everyone. Player Unknown's Battlegrounds is a multiplayer battle royale <laughs> where you must fight against a hundred other players to be the last. Player Unknown's Battleground, while our early, team's focus is, is to bring the most complete battle game. royale experience ever to console and fuck intense shit. The time I streamed it, we got down a third. Xbox oh, holy devices. shit. Our development well, is truly community driven, driven and we owe much of our success huh? to awesome. everyone who's given us Best feedback over oh, the yeah. past year. Good. With over 3 million PC players to date, we can't wait to bring Player Unknown's Battlegrounds exclusively to Xbox One later this year with an update exclusive. for Xbox One X enhancements shipping with the final version. See you on the Battlegrounds, everyone. Exclusive. So this is a got exclusive game. That's a game that's already out on a different thing. Bum bum. Yeah, this is a game that I have and played, and we all played. It's it's just tense as shit. Yeah, that does sound like my kind of thing. A good show for this game would be like 15 minutes of absolutely nothing. Oh, wait, this is what you were playing the other day? Yeah. I didn't enjoy watching you play that, you should play it more. Hmm. I'm gonna. That bridge. Why would you go on the bridge? Go under the bridge. Come on. So, this is why they're pretending it's an Xbox exclusive. Because they don't count console, uh, the PC. Why not? That makes it not exclusive. Because then they can say it's an Xbox One exclusive. This incidentally is more action than I guarantee anybody in the entire world has ever seen in this game. I'm ashamed to be an Xbox <laughs> user sometimes. Ah, you'll be all right. Does anyone actually team up in this game? That's a good you can play a team mode. There's a separate team mode oh. where you go in teams of two, or uh, there's like a two player mode and then there's a more player mode. Well, we could play together. I don't know. Yes, it's not like anything. So, how many th trailers end on? All of a sudden, rush towards the screen. Uh. It's literally, that game goes down. <laughs> that should have been the entire trailer. <laughs> So the day say no, it's it's much more focused. It's thirty minute match. Exclusive. The matches, and then like the map gets smaller and smaller. So Daisy that stays the same size, so it gradually kills people off. 
ghost ship. Let's try to stick together this time. By the apocalypse, no heroics. Oh my god, the new Warhammer game was terrible. Features interact features interactive be on the mixer. Oh my god, it's Thingycraft. Wait, 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 wait. So what's mixer? I don't know, they haven't actually said yet. What's Mixer? Oh. Does anybody know? It sounds like they've sort of done a streaming thing. Well, I've never actually even heard of it. No, oh, spiders are Yeah, this is it. Why do you have any bad guy in the game? What about spiders? There we are. I find it with Microsoft Comfort. I also get the headaches that they show because it's just so flashy and bright and. Deep Rock Galactic. Oh. The squeaking is Matilda. It's not a thing. Exclusive. It's game. At least I like that they're going game, 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 game. Yeah, I agree. Redemption free! What? And it's exclusive. What? Oh my god, imagine this is The Last of Us 2 and it's exclusive to Xbox One. Everyone would shit their pants. Squeak, squeak, squeakity squeak. <laughs> what would you do? What would I do? If the world you knew okay. was gone, but then I'll ask Teresa May if she's going through that right all now. All the comforts, the simple pleasures you took for granted. It's probably going to be less intimidating if they had the squeaky toy noises. Or would that not be really scary because you'd just be sitting in bed and then you'd hear a squeak? But where did they come save from? Themselves. Whoa, guys! Torture. It's a game about zombies! Oh, is this like oh, Dead Rising God, 11? Oh my god, Sony's got their big zombie thing, haven't they? With all the running. That looked really impressive, though. The army's pulling out. Come on. Zombies. Oh, <laughs> I can't fucking remember. It was, it was their finisher of last year. It was a really weak finisher. It looked great. Day Y. I like co op zombie games, but. Oh my god, this is like a generic every other game. Well, if this is like Left 4 Dead 3. Last truck, get in. Mm, this is already cool. How about you? State of Decay 2. Oh, that could be it. I've never played State of Decay. But that's because I have taste. Just, is that How will you decide? Who belongs? Thanks. I owe you. Cool. He owes them. How will you choose a place to call home? How Ten animations, though. I know. Stream nothing but Matilda can be a hundred times more entertaining. Hey! I... Work together to defend it. Uh, no. From the terror. Thank you. Just outside the wall. Having a chip. Stream it on. Yeah, if you hear me telling everyone off, it's probably the chip. You get hungry. Hey! Cold. What risks will you take? Tell me what game it is. What go. mistakes hey. will you make? <laughs> and the only family you've got is about to tear itself apart. Will you end the life? Wait. So or said, just, oh my god, stared and kicked you down. This is our only one. But we need everybody we've got. Stop licking my head! Don't lick me! Oh my god, this, this trailer just doesn't end! That was honestly one of my favorite games that I've played. I just enjoyed it so much. It's so good co op though. So much better co op. Yeah, a lot of 
people say that they like Dying Light. Yeah, I thought Dying Light was really good. It's so good co-op. If you haven't played it, I recommend it co-op, especially. In this world of the living and the dead. In the world of the living and the dead. How will you survive? How do you shoot things? I don't fucking know. Can we see our pets instead of this shirt? Uh-huh. Matilda should be asleep. Oh, that's a nice logo. Logo's better than anything else they've got. Yeah. The eagle skull thing. Yeah. Let's face spring 2018. Exclusive. Console launch exclusive. So, first on Xbox, not first overall. Super pumped. Stop making bad games, bad devs, says Hammer's Tugs. This looks like I said happens. Oh my god, there's gonna be more zombies. <laughs> Whoa, he used his mighty morphing shield. Two players remaining. Oh my god, I'm playing on the battleground again. <laughs> <laughs> One player remaining. I want to play from the wounded warrior. She was caught in the trap, but she used some fury tactics to get herself out of there. She's going to take the win. Let's move on to the next arena. Here we're following Bloody Marrow. There's only two players left in this particular map. Those tracks wow, are that's up, a that very different game to that trailer. Oh my god, can <laughs> we not <laughs> say Hunger Games? Can we say Battle Royale instead? Yeah, but this looks shit. Like might so Hunger Games is better. But what is this that Bloody Marrow's going to do? Getting ever closer to join that beeline. And now he's going to cloak it up. Is he going to walk in through the front door or what? Looks what like he's gonna sneak in on the back window. Here we go. Shot. <laughs> Overwatch two. No, this is Battleborn two. Somebody from Mixer decided to chime in. That invulnerability bubble's oh gonna gosh, help him out and put on the fight with life. There we go. The next strike on Bloody Barrel. Here comes the Bloody Barrel. Bouncing it up far in there. He goes. Here comes the Bloody Barrel. Oh, that was gonna do the damage. There we go. The next strike on Bloody Barrel. Bouncing it up far in there. He goes. Oh, that was gonna do the damage. And the arrow to the belly. That's gonna be the win for Bloody Barrel. Bloody Barrel wins the round. The Darwin Project. I wonder what this is. <laughs> What's this? This is the graphics are terrible. Oh, I'm on. I'm in. That's all I needed. Please welcome from Mo Yang, brand director Lydia Winters. Mo Yang! Wait, 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 wait. If this is crossplay, can I play it on my Vita? No. <laughs> this summer, Vita. millions of Minecraft players will be able to play together like on the Lydia's device of their choice for the first time. Lydia, Lydia, Ryan Smith, the media. Live will unite the global Minecraft Cam community Zekhold across the the Darwin mobile, Project. Naturally, VR, I'd select Windows a Windows different Windows game. Oh. And Mobile VR, PC, and consoles. Wait, can I, can I play on Vita though? As part of this effort, no, we're excited to welcome player-made oh, skins, yeah. maps, textures, and massive community-run servers into the game itself. Wow, because the thing we already have on PC. It won't be the main PC version either. The amazing you create makes so Minecraft even right. better. Nothing beats the Vita. This play fall, that Minecraft will receive a free 4K update that brings more wow. graphical game options to oh, yeah, the game. Yeah. The web but we sorry, didn't Minecraft stop there. Get NAF 4K update. With all this talk oh, about graphics, needed. we're taking things one step further. Today, we're revealing a new look for Minecraft yeah, that we're super duper excited for you to try out. 
one that's inspired by the power of Xbox One X and available this fall. Oh, yeah, no, Let's it check it out. Out. That was it's so terrible, everyone laughed. He's just gonna have shaded on. Oh, also that's his 4K drink. Yeah, shaded. <laughs> Whoa, look, they've added a shader to it! I like how the sun players aren't actually coming from the sun. Wow. None of those light shafts are coming from the sun. Look, draw lines, they're not coming from- what the fuck? <laughs> it's 4K! I was supposed to look that closely! When the Minecraft team showed me the first version of the game in 4K, I was blown away. Moya is a great example of a studio that started something new and different to a global phenomenon. Minecraft, question mark. We're searching for games that are fresh, Hashtag new, fake some. and in some cases familiar. <laughs> that means ensuring that the biggest third-party franchises you want to play oh, wait, are there for you on Xbox that One. That of Metro course, you'll find these oh, great yeah. games in the Xbox Store available for pre-order today. Well, we can pre-order games! Yay! But bringing the biggest blockbuster franchise is just one part of the job. Like blockbuster, am I right here, man? broad, diverse, and new games to Xbox <laughs> means searching to find unique games from creators around the world oh. that will surprise <laughs> and delight. <laughs> to me, these next few games do just that. Starting with a game I got to play on a recent trip to Japan. <gasps> Japan! I've heard of that crazy. place. And a whole lot of the fun. one America Let's take a look kick the shit out of world mm -hmm. premiere. Also, they blocked their bike. Give me some indie shit. Yes, yeah, super potato. Dragon Ball Z. Oh, go go. Ah, Jimbo. Ah, no experience, wait. No, stop. What does it sound like? Oh my God, stop. Great, fucking great. Fighters are ready! I hope it's better than the shit they've had. If they say Budokai 4, I'm actually gonna come. What a game looks like. Oh, it's a proper 2D fighter! Shit, yeah! I'll, I'll play this with you. Oh, it's been so long since we got a proper 2D fighter from Dragon Ball. Or a less grand. Like a straight one, I mean, like, Budokai's off and it's not quite a straight fighter, it's a bit strange. Who's actually three clampers? Ah, oh, shit, the bet I'm in this. I mean, this was revealed a few days ago, it's coming to Steam as well. But, um. That's a good thing. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I didn't see him in the footage of it, it looks really nice. I really don't want to see him. It's turning into a piece of chocolate. I like how there are more Dragon Ball Z games than there are episodes of Dragon Ball Z now. Dragon Ball! Please, it's like. Dragon Ball Fighters! Oh, not Dragon Ball Fighter X! Yeah, that's looks right then. Dragon I'm Fighters! No, no. I like, I like, but it's not gonna match Exclusive. Budokai 3. Console launch. Wait, which is the one I play with you? Budokai 3. Oh, okay. I don't really like Budokai 3. Oh, excuse me. Project Scorpion! <laughs> yeah, where's Scorpio Africanus? I don't know. We've remade Myst for the 21st century. Myst, shenanigan edition. <laughs> I find shenanigan edition of Oh my god, is it, what if this is like just Dear Esther? Oh, it's like boats. It's like boats. <laughs> no, they were boats actually. There's like a lot of shit in the air. In some parts. Oh. Dwarf Fortress 2. The Dwarf. I genuinely find it interesting how they have all of these like exclusives and the console's full of stuff and I don't care about any of it. It's amazing how they do that. Like, that's they don't, they don't take risks, they don't do interesting big stuff. 
You make it too. <laughs> Xbox version, possibly. I once made a uh, Star Guest you want RPG in RPG Make One Incredible. It was very cute. Uh -huh. I said it's Black Desert Online. This looks fucking dire. Yeah, I think the problem is that you still show up an interesting thing, and then as soon as they get into the gameplay, it's every single video game. Sony's got mission with that one as well. It's like, look, here's every video game. There we go. The Mamarpaga. Black Dessert. Or Desert. Black Dessert. I have a Black Voice Gato, please. Exclusive. Console launch. So most of this is already out on PC, then. Is it possible to lose interest this fast? Guess we'll find out. Bloodborne 2. I, I think we're going to see a new From Software game with Sony, by the way, guys. So Are we all braced for that? Are we all ready for that? So excited. I think I'm um, possible Demon Souls remake. That looks fucking pretty. What is that? See the. Oh, I lost him. <laughs> published by Raw Fury. I think most games are published by Raw Fury. Oh, that was crazy. The last of the... Oh, light. The last night. Night. <laughs> no, keep on the camera. Keep on the screen. I don't know if you read the notes that you left me as well. on the stream last time. Yeah. Okay, good. I mean, it would have been a bit later. Yeah, that's how it's working this time. Exclusive. So that was the thing. It was a very nice aesthetic. Yeah, they yeah. looked very pretty. Bit teary. I wonder why they've done that. Or if it's just because they can. Darwin I saw. Oh, my God. Francis Vendit's first show, nephew of Johnson Vendit. Oh, oh my god, cute. it's the same game again. I feel like the pewter are prettier in gaming. I feel like 2D, very 2D visuals on a very 3D thing is coming in right now. Also, Black says that look like a pixel blade on that eye. Yeah, I've lost interest in this game. I mean, the giant fucking does play the head. This looks like one of those games that you're playing, this looks like fun. Yeah, no, I heard that. I heard that. I heard that. The art will escape. What's it coming when it's done? Did it? <laughs> Just like, pay attention to me! What's this, Jazz? Bondage, the beginning! Devil make law. Like my old LSD trips and stuff. <laughs> <laughs> wait, I think I was stuff to do with Snow Peas, and I was like, wait, what? <laughs> Is that what you spoke in the line? Code Vein! I mean, that looks cool, but I don't really know. It's just a game. A lot of these you can just be like, it's a game. We've scoured the globe, meeting yeah, with the creative I artists and development cool. teams. Yeah, they're just and I'm often surprised sort of and games. humbled by yeah. their work. They're very pretty, interesting to look at. Whether it's a story that can of only be games. born of a different yeah, land, or artistic games, design yeah. and storytelling that, in a single moment, can capture your imagination and inspire. There is much to be learned by looking beyond borders. 
Our first party is also a place of innovation and creativity. Is it? Today, <laughs> is I'm it really? To share with you an extended look at never before seen gameplay from Rare's shared world adventure, Sea of Thieves. Yay. Exclusive. On Windows 10. Which you means you have to use a Windows Store, which is fucking dire anyway. 10 players exclusive, there's no way now I'm gonna get a game from there. The joy of a new voyage you never know. across the sea of thieves. Go like Tilda? Just you, the wide open world, and oh, well, not just you, she's here too. Oh, and yeah, this I'm guy's here. That. But, but, okay. but the point Have is, fun. this is a shared world. She right for exploring and raiding with your fine pirate crew. I'm still here, ladies and gentlemen. We can party now. Making themselves I, useful. Give me drink That's what I like to see. She's so good, she's the world terrible. of she Sea of Thieves sees with Hello. possibilities, <laughs> with adventures skulking above and below the waves. All you have to do is <laughs> jump in and up. There she goes. Oh, we're under the sea now. We're in a cutscene. The wreck of the cursed dawn. I see a shark. Tempt a pirate. See a shark. The siren song of a lootable shipwreck. We also the shark. Careful though. There could <laughs> be anything in there. Literally, there could be anything. We haven't finished designing it yet. Joking. That was a joke. Was it a joke? Normally jokes are ah, pacing. Ah, sunken treasure. It's like a pirate performance boat. This is like a underwater game. I miss Rebecca, guys. It falls apart with that, doesn't it? <laughs> Every player's decision. <laughs> oh, this give me a fucking headache. I don't know. But however you plan on seeing it's a one-piece simulator. Be prepared. For gigantic lumps of iron, these are surprisingly portable. Amazing workmanship. Anyway, better get them back on board while the coast is clear. There's really no sense in pushing your luck down here. Yeah, no sense. Shark in three, two, one. Shark! Hey! Do you want to pick a fight? Yes, it's possible to take on these two things. But you're not much used to your crew betting in two. It's just perfectly set up for a moment. <laughs> Sometimes I tap down by Lord Sick Bower is just pacing out of it. In the spirit of that legend, just knowing how pacing works and knowing what generic pacing is. Jeff is like fucking Jeff. Jeff's in Vancouver. Thankfully, for every tense standoff, there's a moment of celebration or shared wonder. But for now, stow your hard earned loot and enjoy the voyage. On Devil's Ridge, beneath the sands, the gold lies hidden from thieving hands. Well, that's typical. Oh, look! Here we are at Devil's Ridge. <laughs> nice transition, by the way. And so you'll shift from the heart of the sea to the island shore, where you'll explore jungles and coves, you called him cliff tops and caverns. Okay, you Every called him region has its Scott very Manley, own landmarks. And over Simon time, Pegg. you'll cover hidden shortcuts, you think this person abandoned sounds? stashes, and vistas that will steal your grog-soaked breath away. It's still on look harder than yes, how hard you work Sometimes to steal it. you'll encounter people who, for whatever reason, would like to blow you into little pieces. That's pirating for you. Can we not direct it? Come on. Keep that back to the thing. There we because go. Because you'll also face the roaming remains of those raiders who came before you, caught short in pursuit of their own legends. Okay. Break this game out of 10. Go. After life of fighting and troublemaking until all your you bits fall, it's what they would have wanted. Now, okay. make sure your crewmates all have a part to play. I managed to. I like dinner. I really like dinner. I counted down from three and said, and look, "Shark King coming in three, two, one," and then a shark appeared. Seek the cursed boar shrine where there is no sky. It lies in wait for a light held high. Hmm. No, this is like right, a well, market player. Well, around here somewhere. But if you've got a bad feeling, you can up. always leave someone on board to brace the ship for a speedy getaway. Decisions, decisions. Got man, Leo Simon. Ah, looks like they've sniffed out that place where there is no sky. Time to pull your resources as you plunge into the unknown. It would be easy to come a cropper in these claustrophobic caves. You don't want to wander off track, unless of course you're streaming, and you'll have loads of people in the chat telling you what to do anyway. <laughs> I do enjoy listening to Rebecca Cringe and fellow kids moments. Don't mind that. It's probably nothing. Just kids. Of course, the Premier Plunder isn't just lying around to be claimed by any old drunken bumbler. You'll need to watch out for likely locations, following your map, clues, and your instincts to make the light work of just... each new mystery. Light work. Well, 
lantern joke there. You're welcome. Anyway, step 11 paces northwest through the gloom. Dig my chest from its tomb. Hmm. And with that, we're one step closer to payday. Then again, some of the loot in these parts has lain undisturbed for a long, long time. That has to be the spot. You can practically taste the treasure. Treasure! Good call on the double duty shovel work too. That storm outside was nipping at your heels. Ah, very nice. Of course, the trouble with treasure as a rule is that the owners really like to hang on to it. If you've got your hands full, it's up to your crew to watch your back. And while they're doing that, it's time for another strategic withdrawal with the loot. This kind of looks like a game that will never play as well as it shows up nope, these things. not that way. That's it. Easy now. Don't stop, keep going. Almost there. Watch that next step, it's a doozy. to turn a tidy profit by trading them in at an outpost. Oh, I it's thought just it'd be like the tiny one. matter of making it through this storm in one piece. Oh no, there's another boat. I really want to get back to the super flag again. Black flag. I really want black flag. I really want black flag. Far away, isn't it? Sydney's Park. Exclusive. That's a proper pirate game. That was a proper pirate game. I suppose it's proper. <laughs> <laughs> oh, it's um thingy. Back to the street. It's thingy. It's gone home too. Secret so have gone home. Gone home too. Okay. Yeah, Tacoma, that's the one. Tacoma August 2. It's a weird name. The one's coming out. That's the sequel to Gone Home, which is the one walking around the thing. Exclusive. They announced that in 2015. World premiere. Did they? Yeah. <laughs> it's gonna be a great game. Tails! Hmm. Everyone says still to the mic to the mic up, bum, ba dum, bum. Mic's fine. Ah. Ah. 
Can't get it. It's Bubsy. Yeah. I'm ready. Oh, Bubsy. I can't see because the director's not showing the fucking thing. <laughs> this discount tails. Yeah. This is what Sonic likes in 4K. It says Turtle Lord. You would know. Ukulele Exclusive. got some success, right? Ukulele was critically panned and destroyed. The guy at the back was King Jellybean. Oh my god! Cuphead! 17 years in creation! Is this going to be the available right now game? A lot of people are thinking it's going to be that thing. Game design was it was just a boss rush with all these fun and fancy bosses. It was only ever going to be a boss rush mode, so it was going to be a really difficult bus kind of game. And then everybody was like, "No, you don't like your platform mode." So they spent years making it into a platform as well in between things. Except 29th, yeah. I'd be excited to see that. That looks that looks absolutely beautiful. It does, absolutely gorgeous. But apart from that, exclusive. Yeah, Cuphead just being a boss rush really difficult to be. Yeah. And then all the platforming stuff they shut off has not been very good at all. So we want to watch out on that. Crackdown 3 is not a thing! They killed the power around the world. We're going to light it back up. Oh my god, it's Terry Crews. It's Terry Crews. It's not even in game footage, it's Terry Crews. Look, it's just Terry Crews. That's why we brought in you. You got the talent. Now you need the tech. Oh, it's an old it. You throw grenades. Boom. Tomorrow you'll be throwing cars. Ah. Forget oh dropping God, bombs. Like, you drop it. I love it. I love Harry Potter. <laughs> now it's time to get to work. <laughs> time to step up your boom. Oh my god, look, Crackdown's actually a game. Oh no, Xbox One and Windows 10 exclusive won't be on the same. <laughs> Where's all that destruction building that they said was a thing? Yeah, this was on the like, our computer's gonna mean you can destroy and go in every building. And I was like, that's fine. And like, 
people never have trouble. That's why they don't know what the struggle is. I don't pay the cost. Right then. What was the dance in this spot? The dark right is you can't even see what's going on even more. I know right now that I can see. Like the complete lack of building attraction trailer clipper. It's hard Not a single shot of building destruction. Not a single shot of building destruction. You just said I, I just got here. Did they talk about the video? Yes, they did, and it's called the Xbox One X. Oh, here's the 42. Here, 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 fills in the 30. Guns, games, windmill, that thing. Can't say, director. Thank you. Sorry. Boom. Ticket. Buy the goods like that. Raiders. Jesus, they're all like the same thing. Rayman! <laughs> Clearly made of that energy. Path of Exile. Powerite. Surviving Mars. Fable. Quint. Observer. Robocraft. Dunk Lords, Minion Masters, Roll Out. Oh shit! No, I tried to play it on PC. It just wouldn't work. Ooglet. Oh, that was that game was great. Because I played some super cool, creepy things. Dark and Light, Strange Brigade, River Bomb. Hello, neighbor. Yeah. Come on, neighbor. Hope that was our thirty games. You think that you like, Luca? Not that I actually want to play. At them. Xbox, it's I not just it about finding one. creative artists. It's, it's, it's about game. empowering them and nurturing them, helping shine a light on their work making it easy Nothing for them to build like and share their creations. That's that, why the really ID at like Xbox it. program no. is so important to us. The team has released over 500 games on a, Xbox One and Windows 10 through nice the surprise. ID at Xbox program. What they live. Mm. I'm not sure I thought it and this is not just a milestone for the program and the independent developer community. Yeah, it's a milestone for them. everyone Ooh, yeah, who loves great them. games. I hope you're reminded today why it's so great to be a gamer on Xbox. No. Action, <laughs> you adventure, literally story, that. skill, surprise. What These next surprise? few games Every game bring it all together. Things. Let's start with a game whose stylistic approach alone makes it something very special. I like the Crackdown had no building destruction, by the Exclusive. way, which is their big push, so Clown Computing's out of that game. Told you so. We've had this before. The dark is older than the light. At last a day dawned, and we rose with this first light. But that light was a betrayal, only fleeting. It looks like we were to try my club on. Well, in its wake, the night returned to claim us. After lifetimes, the light grows. I like how he doesn't have a face, but he does have a mustache. Faint and vulnerable. This rebirth. No We're rendering in 4K, don't use too many pixels. <laughs> 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 no, very 
true, very true. Hello, I'm Captain No Face. We'll light the cut to black and then cut straight back. Oh, he's dead. He survived this. Ashens! Ashens! <laughs> Sorry, that was thing. World premiere. Yay! Yay! <laughs> Skate four. Oh, Life is Strange too. By the art style. Follow me home, pretend you. All oh, right, everyone says it's really good, but everyone assumes I'm okay. found some. I have very specific taste in video games, Actually, and it's management games. I feel not true in this, in this kingdom. I feel numb. <laughs> I feel numb in this kingdom. We can do the job of seeing them play with them, I reckon that'd be awesome. No compost for the job here. <laughs> oh no! I'm bad on bad. Rachel? Yeah, the first bit was uh Welcome to Life is Really Strange. Oh my god, call it Life is Really Strange. Life is strange before the storm. Oh, the game ends like this is a game ends like a storm that kills everyone or something. I can't remember. Please Maybe welcome from Monolith Productions, Vice President of Creative, oh. Michael De Platter. Yeah. It's got before the storm. It's got before the storm. Remember me? You tried to humiliate me. You left your mark on me, but it didn't work. You burned my mind. I'll kill you. Until this moment, you have not known suffering. Orcs yell at you, the game. I would like a game about orc debate. I'm trying to convince an orc to not eat like a baby. Did you play that? that would be really <laughs> He's a baby. Give it like a baby. Oh, what about that? Your mouth, Bruce. So now I'm gonna kill you. I don't want to play that. Orc Academy. <laughs> yes, Orc Attorney. Yes. You were an optimist. Know what that is, mate? It's about sizing up a situation that's bloody impossible and saying, yeah, all right, I'll have a go. That's an I'm exactly the same way. This is like walk off. I like it. Keep it far from the mic. Bruce killed the boss. Come on, lads. In Shadow of Mordor, we introduced a way to create unique personal stories for every player. And in Shadow of War, we're expanding the nemesis system. Two new features we're really excited about are forging an army of followers and nemesis fortresses. Here, we use the Ring of Power and recruit this old of Bruce the Chopper to expand our army. Then, we're going to assault a fortress controlled by one of Sauron's overlords. That was nasty! Oh, really nice. Have a system where, like, orcs will come back and get killed. I don't know how giant spiders are going to play. Oi! Ricky, you're going to skewer me. You're going to skewer me. That little sword's good for a tickle, maybe. But you're gonna need more than that to take me down. I like that puppy that was thrown. Nice one, Ranger. There's a tank for abuse conspiracy. Oh, yeah, that was so good. It's quite like, there we go, I'm now talking about it. I can see the orange little flicks. Shit, we see them before. They do. La 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 la
I turn to just flip the stream on for a while and listen to it. Oh. Bright Lord, Dark Lord. Same thing, really. In results, me ripping spines out, which I like to do anyway, so either way's a win. A fine addition to our army. Name's Bruce. From here on out, I will be your shadow. No oh, one gets to says, you oh, yeah, take me with your ox sword. Don't worry yeah. about my enemies. They will all yeah, follow uh, eventually. Have a listen, have a just You want to plant your flag yeah, in uh, Mordor, you'll need to do it it's deep. Better. There's a fortress nearby. They say it's ruled by a two-headed troll big as a like mountain. <laughs> Deadly smart. Like well. Which, well, I guess he'd have to be given the two heads. You take what, him down, you'll send a business. message to Sauron and get yourself some nice new digs as part of the bargain. I'm not going to do this alone. <laughs> like people say, Gather your friends, not we'll food. Do. Oh, just make sure you let me pop his heads off, won't ya? That orc does not fit in my knowledge of the universe. So, we already have a few loyal followers in our army, and recruiting <laughs> Bruce means we're ready to assault the He's fortress and overthrow the well, overlord. Just Bruce. Yeah. <laughs> what? Bruce's bar and grill. Enormously expanding the open world of Mordor to new regions like Saragost and Kirith Ungol. Oh shit, I'm Mordor's so glad they've added Kirith Ungol. That's my favorite place. Filled with orc society, and Bongo and Bongo, and they're drinking in Kirith well Ungol. <laughs> <and secrets. laughs> you crave me in two. Any other orc would have died, but I survived. More than that, I thrived. My brothers put me back together. Oh my god, just die. Ever. But they didn't make me into what I am. I don't want to try this with how much talking Yeah, literally, it's so put me off. Just having so much talk. We've just been ambushed by the machine. He's tracked us across Mordor seeking vengeance. He's one of the seven new orc tribes we've added. I like the two comments next to each other. This is actually good. And this is so boring. Cool, finally! Look okay, out for a drink! You dishonor the stereo! Thank you, Dad. In my head, that's perplexed for a moment. Um, what's it? Sorry. Instead of killing okay. the machine, we'll I dominate him so we can take advantage of his abilities during the fortress assault. You take out the overlord. But before we charge headfirst into battle, we should plan our attack and select our followers. <laughs> yes. The first is next. I love the rings in that every character says a thousand words. Actually, I don't know a single word, which is a pain in the ass, but to hazard a guess. Why is he Australian? What the fuck is this? A lot of people in chat says it looks good though. Well, I, I thought Lord of the Rings was all poems and songs and being very serious. A fucking Australian war. Confuses me. Oh my god, if I move any closer, I will eat the mic. Real. That was it. There are unlimited ways Perfect. to forge your story and <laughs> yeah. conquer Mordor in Shadow of War. And we can't wait to show you more this yeah, week at E3. Thank you very show much. Show you Mordor! Uh, Exclusive oh, world premiere. Hey, let's look at something else. Anything else. Come on. I'm glad people in chat thought that looked good. I, I, if it wasn't Lord of the Rings, I'd be like, oh, that's a thing. Oh my god. Do you like pianos? And autistic looking jailer. This is Pete Molyneux comes out. He just he got the beam of light shoots down, he lowers slowly through the beam of light. Hello, I'm Peter Molyneux. And I like to lick children on the elbows. Greg turn the emotion. Oh look, it's it's Forrest Gump video game. Piano hero. <laughs> Big fucking frog butt bastard. He's cute. 
It was brutal. What would be the worst title to finish this up with? Screw all this shit. What after this? Yeah, what's the worst title to come up with? Hey, look, so. Spiders are out. Every one of their fucking games has either stabbing or spiders, or probably both. Taskmaster! <laughs> Alex Horn got too much power. Oh my god, I've got it. You know what? That would be the worst, because then that would make me feel sad. Frog Factions 3. <laughs> It's another 2D platform, it's exactly the same as the last six. Banjo Nuts and Bots too. Deadpool 2. I feel like Xbox really doesn't know what people actually want from these conferences. Because nobody cares it's a piano player on stage. They just want lots and lots of gameplay trying, footage. They're trying to make a show out of it, but it's kind of a but bit... Nobody wants that, you just want gameplay footage. Yeah. Sony are much better for actually giving you gameplay footage. I want gameplay footage, I want to know how well it runs. I think they misjudged the length of trailer. They could really compact this down to a solid hour of boom, 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 boom. Don't like that one? Well, here's another one coming out. Yeah, but that bit was going really fast, actually. Oh, it's a sequel to Ori in the Blind Forest. Ori in the Will of the Wisps. There we go. Half Life 3. <laughs> that would have been great. Ori affirms my belief in the beauty, artistry, and heart within the art of gaming. Wow, that's what we the, believe well, yeah, you that like Halo and Gears of War. like books, movies, and music should be celebrated and enjoyed by countless generations. It doesn't say TV. We're against We're TV passionate now. We're passionate about preserving and celebrating TV. the games you own, the classics of the past, and the genres you love to play. That's why two years ago, we launched the Xbox Backward Compatibility Program Good. to bring yeah, Xbox 360 yeah. games to your Xbox One. And we've seen it's tremendous it growth the rule in the of program. Three. Yeah, it's like the empty Today, game mule. our library of games stands at okay, 385 okay, titles. And over half of Xbox One gamers have played a backward compatible game. Wow, half. But I've heard your feedback <laughs> and you many. want more. Today, I'm pleased to announce an exciting expansion to the program. Three new games. Hey, original Xbox games. All those classics, like... It's just nice that they're doing it. And, you know, I'm very happy that they're doing it. Yeah. I like locking down the classics. <laughs> Oh, don't stand and cheer at a press Our conference. Our team of engineers are working hard to bring us some of your favorite original Xbox game to like today's Xbox takedown. One library. Yeah, give me Burnout 3 Takedown on Xbox Including X and I'll get one. a fan favorite that I'm asked about often by the community, Crimson Skies. The game looks really cool. And it looks great. <laughs> and like the Xbox 360 games, OG games will look better and play better across the Xbox One family. Right. We'll have more to share about this program when it launches later this year. So just put more in for it. <laughs> we'll just look for Lunch and Cruising Skies. I'm proud of the library of games available today on Xbox One. All of them will benefit from the performance and power this is X3, when you play please, them yeah. on Xbox Burnout One X. Burnout 3, Time Splitters, but we and won't then stop uh, there. Xbox and I'm Closet excited to announce whatever, that if you but... own Gears of War 4, no. Forza Horizon 3, no. Killer Instinct, no. Halo Wars 2, no. or Minecraft, we'll pre be providing 4K updates to these titles for free. Wow, I kind of assumed you would be. <laughs> and we already have over 30 titles Get from some our third-party partners that are planning to provide one. free updates as part of our Xbox One X enhanced like program. He's dressed. Like he's gonna pick Titles up his kids off his wife for a second. Like Final <laughs> Fantasy XV. I like that look. Resident oh, God. Evil Maybe 7. Maybe they're actually gonna get Final Fantasy XV to work. Tom Clancy's Ghost Recon Wildlands and Rocket yeah, League, shield, just to name shield. a few. Rocket, this Rocket means League. you probably already have a large library of titles that you own today that will automatically get better on Xbox One X. Better. Today, 
we showcase some of the world's greatest dreams. Really managed to crack to introduce him after the Terry Crews hit. With a lineup of different types of games. <laughs> oh my God, is that true? For every type of gamer. We showed you the largest and most diverse okay, lineup of Drake. new games no one's actually that have ever appeared on our Drake. stage. No one's from Fletcher. every corner of the globe, from developers no large and small. 42 games, oh. including 42? 22 with console exclusivity wow. on Xbox One. Yeah. And you're also going to be able to play all of the biggest cross-platform blockbusters on Xbox One. Oh, don't end on Call and of Duty. every game will play great across the Xbox One on family. Duty, they? And on Xbox One X runs every single game you've seen even better. Yay. Rebecca's fallen asleep. So if you me. haven't joined the Xbox <laughs> One family, now's the time. This week you'll find Xbox One S available in the US for two hundred and forty nine dollars. And on November seventh will begin worldwide rollout of Xbox One X, the world's most powerful console at 499. Oh, oh fuck you, Sony! To experience unrivaled power and performance on the wow, Xbox I One. That. Yeah, it's funny, it's funny, fuck. We close today's show by looking to the future. Yeah, I still don't want one, but. With a really great partner. They've been with us from the earliest days of Project Scorpio. And they're building oh, no. an incredible game that oh takes no! Advantage of the we know what this is. It was announced at EA. It was the, the new Bioware thing. And the new Xbox One X. Please welcome it was Patrick Sutherland, Executive yeah. Vice President, EA Worldwide Studios. Yeah. Ow, oh, piss. It's four pound ninety nine. No, I think slightly more than that. Is. Hello, I'm Captain Torman. New IP. Mount. It's the lifeblood of so our industry. One microphone get it His watch is a microphone. It's also risky. <laughs> His ears and microphones. EA, we have teams That's actually up a just lot of a projects, facial feature. And only the, the greatest will make it their way to you. And that's okay. It's all a part of the creative process. And it's worth it because when you find something special, there's no better feeling as a developer than introducing players to a brand new world. And as a player, there's no better feeling than losing yourself in a completely new experience. Our developers of Bioware the have been creating something <laughs> truly special. Wouldn't it be funny if he just turned <laughs> up at every single open conference? <laughs> but it's lush, savage, <laughs> and mysterious. Look, one of the game robots have made it to Xbox. I know, right? With interesting he looks like a robot as well. Types of gameplay. Imagine, right? He just stops, he freezes, and then just like splits down the middle and falls apart, this and it's David Cage inside. Oh! <laughs> that would be so in love. <laughs> the latest technologies and hardware. Amazing concepts become possible. <laughs> Great ideas possible. become reality. In all fairness, David Cage could just wander up so here we are. onto the stage. Mm -hmm. And we are so us. excited to share this with all of you. On behalf of the team what of Bioware, let's see what this game looks like running on an Xbox One X. Yeah, let's see what this Here's game John looks like. Warner from Bioware I'm guessing it's going to be a third-person game with a man shooting thing, but, you know... What a violencing game. Oh, Hi, like I'm John fun. Warner, game director for Anthem. Where Here is the Warner world premiere of Anthem's oh, gameplay. Oh, thank you. Oh, my dear. first person game. Hey, this is great again. Whenever you see this slight rocking camera, there is no chance in hell that's anything real. And that always annoys me. Just lock into a very, like, slight static human character. Freelancer. Fraxley. Listen, Fraxley. there's trouble. Big trouble. What did you do? <sighs> a mistake. I hired some people. They weren't freelancers. Why wear an animating a face They right said they here. could handle it. And the price that. is right. I thought. I mean, it's pre rendered bullshit, so there's no way in hell it's going to be in there. That's why they've it got the masks stupid. on! I'm sorry. So they don't have to actually animate all the faces. Very clever. Somewhere. If you could just bring them back. Anything you need. <laughs> Handy face says he's useful at explaining things. Enjoy that. In the world of Anthem, you and your friends are freelancers. The heroes who leave the safety of the walls of Fort Tarsus to explore the unknown and protect humanity. Let's join two players as they head out on an expedition. 
You ready to go? I'm just grabbing some supplies. Just How do you ready. fit in there? What are you going to use today? What? I decided to go with the Colossus. Ugh. I'm going to use my Ranger. Sorry, it's good Try some new upgrades. Ooh. Titan is online. Oh, I thought it was first person. Are we gonna see gameplay footage? Are we gonna actually see gameplay footage? Every player will own an array of exosuits we call javelins. These suits give players superhuman capabilities and are heavily customizable so they look and play how you want. I want them to play like a fun game. Bam, looking good. Nice, you've got a mortar equipped. Yeah, I got it on the weekend. Oh my god, this is a multiplayer thing, way. isn't it? This is that fake multiplayer chapel. I told you it was a third person shooting things game. Give me a yes or no if you're interested in this game, Twitch chat. That looks extremely snug, says yours. I know. That's probably good shit. This is a vast open world you explore with your friends. Oh, Each javelin exosuit has its own unique playstyle. The Ranger is balanced and a purpose, while the Colossus is a tanking powerhouse. Alright, let's see up here. Mainly no some yeses. How oh, do they put exo in front of every noun? <laughs> <laughs> so <laughs> We're going the exo open world. Shit, watch out for the exo villain. Unexpected is around every corner. Yeah, he seems like a problem for another day. You just run away from him. Well, that goes all the tension of that battle. We're getting some fire from ahead. I'll go low. You flank. That's a bit too low. You in there? You in the water? Spike forms. Ha! Have you been in there yet? I haven't. They should do this as a real thing, and they should be like, just racist slurs and like, did you watch football last night? Hello, treasure. Much like talking about the game. When will this end? This will never end. Exo enemies. <laughs> we got some action there. Exo lot. Exo ruin. Yep. But run the exo tree. The area. We're under attack. I think that's part of Praxis winning. I look forward to this conference Aww. finishing and me instantly forgetting everything. That <laughs> so do I. So it's currently having a small delay there. That's not your end. You, you can, can equip your javelin exosuit with gear that brings devastating power to combat. There's a lot of people currently logging off, so uh, good thing. Oh, an ATA you just fell down. Oh my god, there's a Dalek! Oh, there are a lot of scars down there. Oh, the scars have a heavy. Have time to use that mortar. Nobody would stop. Everyone would just be plowing in. I like the mortar had a range of about a foot. <laughs> they are Daleks! No, they're not Daleks. They're Exo Daleks. There's a bunch more coming. Exo, Xbox One X. Okay, I'll get this one. Well, that seems like a waste of time. The people asking when Bethesda is, it's been about five hours, 20 minutes. Yeah, we'll be here in about five hours. Oh, come on. Be there are a couple of videos, is that her? Oh, yeah, you're not going to tell me. Oh, yes. Yeah, you're sleep. Oh, nice. Because we've got five and then six, so we won't be done. Large scale like world bucket. events like Shaper that. Storms are dynamic and pull you off the beaten path with the promise of new stories to discover. Stories? I've got one story apart from all his and people oh. to shoot. Shaper Storm incoming. Okay, actually, let's get some more people. Hold on a sec. In there, Blade. Oh, that's my watch, it goes off every day. It's time. Hey guys, what's up? Hey, what's happening? I like how they've just gone, yeah, that's us call Kim and Sandra. It says it's 5 hours and 20 minutes, or 5 hours and 20 minutes from now, and we've got another 5 kilometers in. That's charged, you saw the CFA now. I don't want to say it's at 5 a.m. because I know you're not on here. What are we supposed to do? 
fly into it. Doctor! I am the destroyer of exo worlds! Pumpkin Grave, that's not a storm, that's a. Our story is out there. Oh, it's good. This is not called Anthem, it's called And Them. It's like, do you want to bring And Them along? Sure. <laughs> when does this one end? Hopefully that was it. Let me just do a recap here. Here's what we saw. Then he goes, There's so many amazing worlds on Xbox One. It's like being inside a world of excitement. I'm going to share everything they showed was in the brown and carbon. Sometimes slow. You. Ah, you. The Bulver's on an hour and the text is coming. It'll be afterwards because we're just streaming the one Twitch chat, so it's one Twitch chat for those who jump around. Sass has created orange music, alright? It's a nice interesting thing. That was fun. That was terrible. What did you enjoy about this stream? Really? Yeah. I, I never ever enjoy my. Trackers compatibility. If, I mean, if they can get SSX three, gone out three, and stuff in a more easy to play mm. way, that will win me over. I think it's even in their entire catalog, they don't have enough to warrant me buying it. That's true. Oh, there we go. That's the thing. It's not like it's just each year. I'm not interested in anything. It's like their entire catalog is just not. Mm. It's not my thing. Mm -hmm. Ladies and gentlemen, and here's some back. Twitch people. Twitch okay, I'm gonna mute them. I think the whatever the Tales mm -hmm. game. I mean, that looked cute, but I mean, it's hardly something worth getting a console for. Yeah. Well, that was a uh, stream. Hope you all enjoyed it. <laughs> and if, yeah, let's see what you like, Twitch chat people. I kind of like the Dragon Ball Z thing, but that's coming out on Steam. I like I mean, Assassin's Creed, but that's going to come out on everything. Well, the Dragon Ball Z game I'll play with you, but on PC, because <laughs> I, I hate Xbox controllers, so... Anything else we got? Uh, Metro, Scorpio Force, Assassin's Creed, zombie thing, Overwatch thing. Literally nothing was there. Minecraft, Dragon Ball. The last night looked very pretty, but again, very pretty. It doesn't really make anything else. Cuphead looks great, but... Cuphead is just going to be on everything. Tails, Crackdown 3, and then I stop writing. <laughs> yeah, no Peggle, no Peggle 5, whatever announcement. Um, so Bethesda's going to be a bit more fun. What do you think we're going to see at Bethesda? I don't know. That's the thing. And you know what they're like? They just suddenly announce a thing. They're just like, here's the thing. And you're like, what? Well, Fallout 4 VR, I think, is going to be big. I, I've i been saying... Doom VR. Doom VR is going to be a thing there as well. Now, I've been saying that Do uh, Fallout 4 VR is going to be released either there definitely this year. I will be very surprised if it's not. I think it's going to be there. Oh, and by the way, it's Fallout 4 VR is available now. If that's the case, we may not do the Devolver Digital stream. We may do a Fallout 4 VR stream. I don't want to cry <laughs> on the stream for like hours while I just stand there and not move. If we see Elder Scrolls 6, I, you know what? Bethesda don't like to announce a thing until it's very nearly done. And I don't think they're going to be done with Bethesda 6. And I don't think they're going to want Bethesda to tease 6. it. Sorry, uh, the uh, Elder Scrolls 6. Possibly, maybe Fallout, like a big say, expansion thing. If they announce the Elder Scrolls 6, I will scream. If they announce Elder Scrolls 6, it will be coming out this year. They like to do that. And I don't yeah, think... Oh yeah, definitely. I don't think they've, I don't think they've got a two-year sort of run-off on that. I'm interested in Starfield. I don't know what that is. It's there. We don't know what it is. The sources are great, but it's possible it's a thing. Open world science fiction game. Interesting. So made by the Doom side of things. Apparently, apparently, but this is very. They're not like I don't think it's like legit source for this, but apparently it links Bethesda's existing worlds. Yeah. Which is interesting. I'm looking forward to that. I, that. I just want to know anything about that. Yeah, but it, we'll see Todd Howard, who absolutely loves video games and is a delight to watch. And oh, I'll tell you what, we'll definitely see something to do with Elder Scrolls Online. Ah, uh, yeah, we'll skip to that. They though. need to push that. They might have a new little crap mobile phone game to pedal. Yeah, I, yeah, I agree. Possibly with Starfield. Probably with Starfield. It might be Starfield. 
Hmm. Anyway, that's Bethesda. It's uh, a bit of a thing. Wolfenstein. 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 There's definitely a new Wolfenstein coming out. Wolfenstein: The Last Colossus, or something. I heard something like that. Um, Fallout game from uh, Obsidian. I don't know. I don't think no, we'll see a new no. game of that size. Fallout games remastered. You know what? I wouldn't be surprised with a Fallout Three remastered. Oh my god! I would definitely cry. I think, I'd be so happy. I think we're gonna have a big. Wolfenstein moment and a uh, Fallout 4 VR is what we're definitely going to see and I think Fallout 4 VR is either going to be out today as a download or is going to be this year November oh time this year oh my god if it's out I've just, oh my, I just... if it's out we will immediately download and still that fuck Devolver <laughs> there will be at least one point in Bethesda's conference so I just cry with joy yeah because there is every year yeah so, we got that to look forward to. That's going to be at 5am UK time. All the other times are available on the and random linky things. Straight after Devolver. And it goes straight into Devolver, so that's going to be a big block for us. Devolver, where they don't have any new game reveals. Yeah. Which is. A bit disappointing, but we haven't seen it. I don't think I've seen everything that Devolver have. But Suda 51 will be there. Suda 51 is going to be there, so that's going to be interesting. How many times did Rebecca cry? Who knows? <laughs> um. So yeah, we'll have we'll have a look and stuff. Anything else to add? On the Rebecca crying theme. Other than Rebecca crying, yeah. Oh my god, when they announced Fallout Four, I <laughs> cried for literally days because I just kept remembering it, and then I would just get upset again because I was just so excited. <laughs> I just watched that trailer over and over again and cried every time. You can't have a trailer with the music and then a German Shepherd. <laughs> it was the German Shepherd. Just. It got me every time. Anyway, that was Microsoft. Uh, coming up five hours from now, we will be here talking Bethesda. We will see you then. Goodbye. Bye. Oh, wait, no, that's... <laughs> no, that's definitely wrong. That was... Oh, piss. Piss!